Hello and welcome to Gary Teaches Maths. I'm going through the um, this year's higher tier paper from uh, ADEXL 2019. This is paper one, um, and this is a non-calculator paper. And um, the, I'm starting at actually the hardest question on here, which is question 22. So this is a probability question, and um, we're given the condition that in a bag there's red counters and green counters. So we're told that the probability of getting a green counter is three over seven. And we can represent this as a probability tree. So we can say, well, probability of getting a green counter is three over seven, which means that the probability of getting a red counter is going to be four out of seven. So this is the green one at the top and the red one below. We're then told that two more counters are put, uh, two more red counters are put into the bag and three more green counters are put into the bag. And now the probability of getting a green counter is six out of 13. So we're told then that the, uh, the situation is that we've got six out of 13, it's a chance of getting a green counter, and the chance of getting a red counter now is gonna be seven out of 13. So we've got these two situations. What we can say in the first case is that the ratio of green to red counters must be three to four. So we can say that the green over the red is gonna be equal to three over four, and from that, we can get an equation uh, where we get the greens in terms of the reds. So we can say, well, we've got four greens if we multiply three by four. Um, and if we multiply three by the R, we'll get is equal to three reds. So that's an equation linking, linking the, the greens and the reds. From the second equation, what we've now got, our second situation, the number of greens is now g, if that represents the initial number of greens, plus two, uh, sorry, plus three, and the number of reds has gone up by two. So that's now r plus two. And that is equal to the ratio of these two fractions, six over 13 and seven over 13, so it's equal to six over seven. If we multiply through by r plus 2 here, consider that to be a bracket, then what we'd end up with is g plus 3 equals 6r plus 2. And I'm also going to multiply through by the 7, which means that the 7 will come up onto this side of the equation. If we multiply out these brackets now, what we'll end up with is 7g plus 21 equals 6r plus 12. Now we can just tidy that up a little bit. We can say, if I take away 12 from both sides, we'll get that 7g plus nine equals 6r. So we've got two simultaneous equations. We've got this one and this one. If we were to double both sides of this equation, what we'd end up with is 8g equals 6r. So what we could do is we could take this 6r here, and we can see we've got 6r there. So we can replace 6r by 8g, because we know 6r is equal to 8g. So I'll do this up here, and we can say, well, the 7g plus nine on the left-hand side of this equation is now going to be equal to 8g. If I take away 7g from both sides, what I'll end up with is that 9 is equal to 8g minus 7g, which is just g. So we've got it. g equals 9. Now we also need to find the initial number of red counters. So we found the number of green counters, we find the number of red counters by substituting that into our equation here. So we can say, well, g is 9, so we can say that 
times 9 is equal to 3R. So we've got um, 4 nines is 36 equals 3R. Divide both sides by 3 there, and we'll end up with 36 over 3 equals R. So that will give me that R is equal to 12. And we've done it. We've got G is equal to 9 and R is equal to 12. That's it. Hope that's been helpful to you. If it has, uh, please like our video and um, subscribe to our channel, Gary Teaches Maths. And for more help of this sort, please look at our website, which is bestmathstutors.co.uk. Thanks for watching.